Oh, it would be the same thing. It would be the TN equal to the TN minus 1. What I want with my students is that we are sitting next to each other, oriented towards this topic together, and we are having a dialogue about that. But that the student really is looking at the subject and not looking at me to figure out what's going on. I think for the area of the triangle, they should be... That doesn't happen on day one in ninth grade, right? That is a gradual process. Over time, we want students to really be using us as resources and not as us who are the people who are plotting the course or charting the course, but that they can chart their own course. There's something about what she's written up there. 99% of it is great. There's one little thing we need to change and somebody's already said it in here. When you look at our list of courses, they're very standard courses in the names. What's different really is when you look more deeply at like what is the content. And we have three main content areas that we believe are important to start right at the Algebra 1 level then continue through all of those courses. These are computer programming, some basic financial understanding, and more statistics and probability than you would see in a traditional course. These four numbers, these four variables have everything you need. Everyone's using computers in their lives, right? It's also very graphical based the way we teach it. Lots of coding where you're generating some sort of graphic that's changing. So I am in Computer Science 2. I, uh, this is an independent project-based class where we all uh, choose a language and choose a certain project that we want to work on. I chose the program or the language Super Collider, which is a audio manipulation and synthesis software. So here we have the envelope generation for the synthesizer. This is a amplitude over time graph and every single sound goes through this. Down here I can trigger all of the different patterns that I have programmed. And the exchange rate uh, are different from the time they file contracts and the time they uh, clear the balance. So Just as like an example of where we want a student to get. I want any student who's leaving the Putney School and considering uh, the possibilities of taking out a student loan or a home mortgage to really be able to create their own spreadsheet so they know exactly how much they will be paying over time. You're making a lot of money, and you might actually become a partner of this firm where you're getting also a percentage chunk. Because the main way the person on top is making the money is they get a percentage cut of each investment made. We are studying an example of smallpox, uh, which we have a machine that the test said is 99% accuracy if you got a positive result back and you will have the disease. So we calculated the actually probabilities and the result source that even if you get a positive result, you can only have 50% chance to really get a disease, and which is a really dramatic difference. We are using the example and to apply the example in this statistic class and which helped me to understand the math better and to realize that oh math is important actually. You have so much support all over. You don't even have to go just to your math teacher. There's a room dedicated to just learning math and doing conference block it's six teachers there who can help you with it. One of the things that I appreciate uh, about the way we teach math here at Putney is that we really do view math as just another lens through which to understand and analyze the world. We've done exponential growth in my math class, and it's funny because in my humans class, we were talking about the same exact thing going on. All of my classes were tied together for like two weeks. <laughs> Students really leave here with the mathematical skills that seem most applicable to uh, being an informed and uh, participatory citizen in our democracy.